Today, so we will learn about the piece of curry, a traditional pasta in the mountainous region of the Lombardy in the north Italy. To make the pasta dough, I have prepared creamy wheat flour and buckwheat flour. Measures 90 grams of the buckwheat flour and 30 grams of the flour. Pour 50 to 55 ml of the warm water. I did not use salt because I wanted to make the pasta dough more softened. Especially pasta dough made by only buckwheat flour is soft, but texture can be tough. But when you mix 3 to 1 proportion but with flour and flour, then flavor and texture will be balanced. Mix all the mixtures and combine it properly, and start kneading the dough. Sometimes, according to temperature, your pasta dough may need some water. So, add water time to time. When you push your fingers and the pasta dough has a certain resistance, that means your dough is ready. Put it in the zipper bag and set at least half an hour. For making pasta, I have prepared 4 pieces of the mini cabbage, 1 cloves of the garlic, 2 blocks of the butter, 1 is around 8 grams, some spring of the thyme, and 2 potatoes. First up, let's start cutting mini cabbages. Cut them half and peel it each layer. Secondly, crush a piece of the garlic. Thirdly, I'm going to cut potato small dices. Easy. To protect the oxidized, keep potatoes in cold water before using it. Right, half an hour is gone. Set pasta machines and I'm going to roll the pasta. If you don't know how to roll the pasta, I'll recommend you to watch my previous video. There are as many informations that you can search for. Look at this light gray color of the pasta sheet. That looks beautiful, isn't it? Roll the pasta until thickness becomes 2 mm. Sprinkle flour on the sheet of the pasta time to time to do dough works better. Cut between 2 cm width for the pasta sheet. And cut it through as half. Dust enough flour so that pasta do not stick. For some leftover part, I just made spaghetti. Measures peach curry 65 gram. Okay, the pasta is ready. Then let's do preparing other ingredients. Start boiling water and put a tablespoon of salt. Blanch mini cabbage for around 10 seconds and cool it in cold water straight up. After that, cook diced potatoes in boiling water around a minute. Make sure to not overcook, otherwise it becomes soggy and get mashed. Okay, the last job is to cook peach curry pasta for 2 to 3 minutes. Keep pasta water always, don't throw it away. Right, we got to the last stage. Melt the butter and place a piece of the garlic and then put one string of thyme. Wait until fragrance comes up. 
put all the ingredients straight up, except the pasta, and season with a bit of salt and pepper. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Pour approximately 60 ml of the pasta water and pasta straight into the pan. Grate decent amount of the parmesan cheese and toast the pan until the moisture becomes soft and get proper thickness. Grease a bit of the olive oil and toast it fastly. Plate it and finish it. Thanks God for giving me the nice food today. This is traditional Picho Kelly pasta. Mm -hmm. I think the main characteristic of the Picho Kelly pasta is that the pasta is super tender. So traditionally, this pasta is originated from the mountainous area in North Italy, so it may not contain seafood or meat, but freshness of the vegetable is properly matching with buckwheat pasta. When I work in a restaurant in Cheongdam area as a chef party in pasta section, I recommend the traditional pasta, but it was rejected for the reason is that people look for meat and seafood. But nowadays, when it comes to well-being, this kind of food can be a new trend for the people who want to live a healthy life. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Then I will back with the other recipe next time. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao.